Hi guys! Okay, I want to walk through how we are going to use the LaTeX Math Editor this semester. Now, keeping in mind that it is similar to the editor that was in Blackboard, there are a few changes. And so I want to walk through what is the same, what is different, and overall I think it's actually fairly easy, although it doesn't have all of the same features. So I have a few questions here. Write the formula for ammonium sulfate. So I'm going to go up here to the insert math equation. Um, it's called the latex math editor. Um, and so if you kind of, depending on where you click, it calls it a different thing. So just be aware of that. We tend to use subscript, superscript, fraction, and these arrows over here the most. Um, if you are in 112, at some point you'll get into these in like unit nine, but really it's mostly just these three that we'll need. So for ammonium sulfate, I'm not going to look up or make the table for that. I'm just going to show you how to enter superscripts, subscripts, that kind of thing. So ammonium sulfate is um, parentheses NH4, outside the parentheses subscript 2. And you can either hit the right arrow button or click over here. Either way will work to get it back to the normal text line. Insert. Now, a couple of things. If you want to highlight, this is different from the one that is in Math Editor, uh, that is in Blackboard, the Math Editor that's in Blackboard. You can't highlight or change font here. Um, so in order to do that, we would have to do it out here. Stay away from dark colors. I can't see those. And after reading 100 or more assignments, it's just going to be frustrating. So you want to use one of these lighter colors if you're going to highlight. And so there's one way to indicate your answer. If you had something like um, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, Avogadro's number, the way that you do superscripts is pretty much the same way. You're just going to hit the super button. Hmm. We'll do particles or atoms, minimal. And you can kind of see if you hit this, it, it messes up. It's easier if you're going to do units to go ahead and do your fraction first, but it's up to you. You'll quickly find, like, you know, what works, what doesn't. Um, it's whatever. If you do dimensional analysis, we tell you we, that we like to see the plan, or I like to, I really like to see what you guys are thinking about so I can kind of see what's going on. And so I'm going to make my plan first where I have 48 minutes. I know I'm going to days. Now I can't go from 48 minutes to a day. I'm just not that smart. So I'm going to go ahead and use my arrows, except there's no way to really write on top of the arrow their way, the way there was in Blackboard. So instead, I'm going to use my fraction button come over here, put my arrow on the bottom. And up here, I know that I can't go from minutes to days, but I can go from minutes to hours. And so I have 60 minutes in one hour. And there you go. Now for over here, I can go from hours to days. So same thing, I'm going to make my fraction, put an arrow down here, to be honest, I don't really care too much which one it is as long as it's easy to see. And up here I'm going to say, well, I know that there's 24 hours in one day. Insert. Now, if you wanted to, if this starts to get a little small, you can just increase it by clicking and dragging on any corner. Um, Mostly important if it gets out of hand. It really needs to be close to size 12 font. Guys, my eyes are getting old. Be nice to me. Now we have our plan. We can go ahead and plug in our dimensional analysis. So I'm going to go ahead and start with what's given. Now you could just do it this way, 48 minutes. But I like to know that everything is lined up. And I don't like that this is kind of in the middle. So go ahead and take a split second click this button and say 48 minutes. Now I'm going to click over here or right arrow either way and I'm going to make my new step. I know that I need 60 minutes in an hour to make minutes cancel. We'll put 60 minutes on the bottom. One hour up here. 
again, you can right click or arrow over either way. I am only adding spaces to make it easier to see, not necessary, but make sure it's very clean, guys. Um, cancel hours, I'm gonna put 24 hours down here. Let's go with abbreviation one day. Now, either way, if I were to go ahead and write this out, just to show you, um, I'm not making it up, 48 minutes times one times one, divide by everything on the bottom, equals 0 0.03, continuing. Minutes canceled, hours canceled, we're left with units of days. Now a couple of things. There is no way to highlight only part of this. So it's like an all or nothing thing. So if you want to highlight the answer and you're in 111, 112 and you know you're gonna have to correct for sig figs anyway, go ahead and do that at this point. We can tell we have two sig figs, so these are exact. This is two, so we need two. Two is our fewest. So that's gonna be about three point no three times ten to the negative two. Ha, that's not my right arrow. Uh, days. Actually I don't like that as part of the answer. Insert. And so before this you can just say, well that means that, you know, our answer is this in terms of sig figs. In your MSQs, you're going to have to explain how you knew it around anyway. And then you can highlight just this part that we care about. Okay, so in terms of making a table, you can make a table using this tool here. That's fine. It counts. It's whatever you want to do. Um, it does have some benefits um, because you can quickly add a row before, after, columns, no problem. The issue I think most of you guys are going to have is that um, if you are doing chemical formulas in those, especially if you've got like ions that you're making a formula with, you're going to have to go into math editor for every other line anyway. So it's just easier to go ahead and get it over with. Um, so to make a table here, if you're going to make a formula, so we're going to do it for potassium oxide. Um, let's just make sure I'm up here. Yeah. One, two, three. I know I need four columns and four rows just because I did a practice run. And so now you can go in, you can either arrow click or, air, or um, arrow over. You can either mouse click or arrow over to get what you want. Number, charge, total. Potassium is K. Oxygen is O. Potassium's in group one, so it's got a one plus charge. Oxygen is in group six, so it's got a two minus charge. And all compounds must have a total formula, a, a total charge of zero. Insert. Now, see, like this is already kind of small, and I just can't, I can't see that. So I'm going to, um, what I am doing is con highlighting it and then control C, or you can copy. Control V or you can paste either way. But now I have a duplicate. I can come in and add the rest of my stuff. I don't have to recreate everything. So to make these equal, lowest common denominator is two. So I need two of these and one of these to get a plus two and minus two. Oops. And minus two. That'll add up to be zero. It does resize it, the table. That's no big deal. Quickly, you can fix that. Um, a couple of things, guys. So for me, I would go ahead and write the formula separate so that I can highlight it. K subscript 2, O. So if you wanted to highlight it, you could. It doesn't really matter. Um, second thing, um, and I discovered this when I did a practice run. If I were to try and abbreviate the way that I do when I'm in my videos and use a number symbol here, watch what happens. It doesn't work. Now if this happens for some reason, don't panic. Leave it highlighted or you can highlight it again and then go back to this button 
and you can edit it again. Number, insert, and it's all back again. So um, there is a little bit of a learning curve here, but it's not as bad as Math Editor, I think. So uh, the one that was in Blackboard, but you know, let me know what you think. This is how we will create posts for the semester.